Hey everyone, Christian here, and I am back on the same little plot of land that we have, and I'm gonna go talk about these two potted spe one line is one species of Carypha and one is one another species. Now there's a couple other species of Carypha, but these are the two most common. So you have Carypha utan right here, you have Carypha umbraculifera right here, and they're about the same size. They're both sitting in 15 gallon pots. These utans might be a little bit larger. They might be the same age though. Um, umbraculifera takes a little bit longer to take off. Um, these are starting to take off, but when they are young, you can see that white sheen on the base, and that is by far the most notable characteristic, versus Umbraculifera is going to be more of just a tropical green color. Let's find a good, not to, the sun is quite bright here, but um, you can see just how dark, has that dark kind of almost forest green color. The leaves are not segmented. They're more, uh, they look almost like a Likawala at this stage, or a Linonia. And the arming is not that, not too uh, rough. Where here, the arming is much, now, the, yeah, that will, uh, that will cut my finger nicely. So you can see how many segments these, this one has, and it's just, you know, the segmentation process happens much more quickly in Inutan versus Umbraculifera. The bases tend to grow above ground, where in Umbraculifera, you can see these are almost, uh, you know, subterranean. And they'll, they'll start to get above ground, but it takes a little bit longer. Um, you can see the, the new spears are coming. You can see them from above ground where right here, this is still pushing below ground. Um, and Utan's in general a little bit easier to grow. Um, you know, you see nothing really but green. My shadow's kind of getting in the way there. You can see really nothing but green, these darker green colors of the bases there, and nothing but white there. More upright leaflets. Overall, this is more subtropical looking, and this is more tropical looking. They're about the same, as far as cold hardiness goes, Utan's a little bit more cold hardy, not a whole lot, maybe a few degrees. I've seen it grown in zone, mid zone nine. It's burnt badly, but it's come back, where Umbraculifera, I would say, isn't gonna do well below a 10A. So if you wanna grow Umbraculifera long term, definitely find that yourself a zone 10 climate there. So, um, I was looking at some of the other plants here, but, you can just kind of see Utan has more of a presence in its pot than Umbraculifera does. It kind of just flopping around. But once these take off, in my opinion, Umbraculifera is a much nicer looking palm. Now this one is kind of weird where it has grown a little bit longer. It has segmented quite a bit. You can see the, uh, you know, this one versus this one, the segmentation is, is all there. And that's going to, that starts to happen. This is more of a mature looking leaflet. Now it's far from mature it's still juvenile because the um the true leaf of some brachylifera can get you know eight to ten feet wide and uh great story of umbraculifera kind of saving the day i was uh visiting a garden of a friend this is probably 12 years ago and it didn't look like it was going to rain and we went out to go visit and it we, we suddenly heard thunder it started pouring we five of us all gathered underneath one umbraculifera leaf and we all stayed bone dry so just to give you an idea of just how large those those palms are. So um, this isn't going to be that long of a vlog, but I wanted to, you know, these almost look like uh, Latania lanteroids, red latans when younger. You can kind of see that with the bases. And if I show you red latan, you mix in some red and it would almost look like a red latan minus obviously the armament there. So anyway, that is the comparison between two of the most popular Carifas. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like looking at tropical plants, mostly palms, consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification when I do go live. If you have any questions about Carypha and its growing habits and where to grow it, leave a comment down below and I'll get it back to everyone as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.